This Cognos list will help us uh, to explain how to use running functions. I have created five columns with uh, running functions. And if we double click here on running count, I will see how we can use these functions. So we just have to uh, type our function and then for argument, we would use some column and this will calculate running count of this column. And it's the same if we use other functions, for example, instead of count, we can use minimum, maximum, average and so on. But we still have one more running function. So I will create one more column. I will use query calculation. I will edit here. I will uh, name this uh, column error total. Then I will go here to functions and all of these running functions are here in summaries folder. Here they are. So I will use running total. And again, for my argument, I will use value column. So this is how we use running uh, functions. I will click on OK. And then we will explain this running total. So first value is one, then we have four, and then we have nine, and then we have 16. Now this one is this one, but one plus three is equal to four. And then we continue, one plus three plus five is equal to nine, one plus three plus five plus seven is equal to 16, and so on. That is how we uh, calculate this uh, running total column. It is similar with running count. We have one value, so it is one. We have one and three, those are two values, so we have two. For one, three, and five, we have three values, so it is three, and so on. For running average, we can say that running average is calculated by dividing running total with running count. So one divided with one is one. Four divided with two is two. Nine divided with three is three. Sixteen divided with four is four, and so on. We will now jump to running maximum. So what is the maximum value just for one? Well, it is one. But for one and three, the maximum value is three. For one, three, and five, maximum value is five, and so on until we reach to 10. Now 10 is uh, absolute maximum in value column. So uh, in this cell here, we will have 10, but after that, we can only have 10 because that is the maximum value. The maximum value will never change as we go uh, to the rows below. Now for um, running minimum, we have an absolute minimum from value column in the first row. So here we will have one and after that we can only have one because that is an absolute minimum. Now running difference is uh, an interesting function. It will calculate a difference between two successive values. For example, three minus one is equal to two. Five minus three is equal to two. Seven minus five is equal to uh, two, but one minus seven is equal to minus six. And we don't have this first value because we cannot calculate one minus something because there is no previous values. Now, if we uh, look at all of these uh, functions, we will notice that they're depending on the ordering of this uh, list. For example, here in running average, we have these values one, two, three, four. But if I uh, select this uh, group column, and if I change ordering to descending, to DCBA, now in running average, we have some totally different values. We don't have that one, two, three, uh, four. Now these running uh, functions, they can use four operators. If we double click here, I can say calculate this running average four, and then we will uh, use column group. So when I click on okay, I would again have that one, two, three, four, because these uh, four rows were previously uh, at, at the start of this list. Now they are at the end, but because we are separately calculating a running average just for letter A, then we would have that one, two, three, four at this uh, position. And we will better understand for operator if we use running count. So I will double click here. So I will again calculate four uh, group. So when I click on OK, now we can see for letter D, we have one, two. For letter C, we have one, two, three, four, five. For letter B, we have one, two, three, four, and uh, so on. So everything depends on the sorting order. Now uh, I will uh, go here to my uh, query, and we will notice that I have turned off this auto group and summarize uh, property. So I will now turn it on. I will turn it on. And then I will go back and we will now uh, have um, only one row for each uh, distinct uh, pair of for group and subgroup. So for D and Z, we only have one row. So everything is 
uh, grouped. All of these values are grouped, but we can notice that our running functions are uh, still working. For example, here in running count, I will double click and I will delete this for group. I will click on OK. And now running count is going from, from uh, 1 to 9. It is not going from 1 to 15 like previously. So everything is working. All of our uh, running functions uh, works correctly. Uh, I will now jump to page 2 to show you some more abilities of running functions. So we will go to page 2. And here we already have a list. This list is not uh, using running functions. So I will use query calculation to add one more column. This column name will be error count. And of course I will use running count uh, function. Our argument will be value. I will click on OK. And we have our column. Now values in these columns are from 1 to 9. That means that if we go here to query 2, we have our property auto group and summarize turned on. I will go back to page 2. We also can notice that we don't have subtotals for our new column. And we can solve this if we select our column, we go to summarize and we click on the full summary. But this will just make a double rows for subtotals. So I will click on undo. And instead of that, what we can do, we can move our column to the left. Now we have our uh, green cells and then we will move our column to the last position again. If we now select our column, we go to the full summary, we would get subtotals, but subtotals don't have meaning for running count, so I will remove them with undo. Yeah, but the thing that I want to show you is this. Now we have a values 1, 2, 3 and so on until 9, because we have 9 rows. But we can change that. We can double click here and I will now use add operator. So I will type here add and then I will add column group. Now this is similar with for operator and we can uh, use for and that at the same time. That is also possible. This time I will only show you how to use add. So instead of 1 to 9, I will click now on OK. We would now have values 1 to 4 because we have four groups. We have groups A, B, C and D. So we only have values 1, 2, 3, 4 because we are counting uh, groups and not rows. But this uh, can lead to problems in some situations. Let's say that we apply a summary filter on value column. For that I will go here on filters, edit filters. I will go to summary filters, I will click on plus and I will uh, choose value column. And I will uh, say that uh, value column should be less than or equal to 10. OK. Our scope is now group because we have subtotals on the group uh, column. And what I'm expecting is that only these two subtotals will remain because they are smaller than uh, 10. So in the final result, we would only have uh, these rows here. So we only ha would have three rows, detailed rows and uh, two subtotals, eight and three. But if I click on OK, I would have a problem. We have many more rows, we have different values, and so on. And why is this happening? Well, notice here that for each C group and the X subgroup, we have value five. But if we go to this Excel file, and if you look at our uh, source data, we will see that for each C and X, we have a number that is smaller uh, than uh, five, but in total, these numbers uh, make five. So this uh, five is repeated four times. And then we also have this three, then that is in total 23. And that is why we have a bad result. And we have to uh, solve this. And to do uh, that, I will first remove this summary filter. So I will go to edit filters, summary filters, and I will temporarily disable uh, this filter. So I will click on OK. And now we will uh, change our formula. I will type here one more word, and that word is pre-filter. Uh, pre-filter means that first we will uh, filter our subtotals using that summary filter, and only after that running count will be calculated. So when I click on OK, nothing will change, but when we apply again our summary filter, so I will go here, I will check required, I will click on OK, now we have uh, correct values, and instead of having one and two. These values are first calculated. So we have three and four for C and D. For C and D we have three and four. And uh, after filtering out A and B, 
we only have three and four there is no one and two but previously when we didn't use pre-filtered word we have one and two but now we have three and four and that is how we can uh, use pre-filter 